Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, but these days it's hard to find what you're looking for. I called up my buddy Guy from Gun Prime and said, hey man, I got some stuff I need to find. And he says, guess what? Come on down. Come on down, we have it. So I drove down here uh, from my place, just a little scoot up the road. We're gonna check out what he's got going on here and probably find some really cool stuff, but let's see what's going on in here. Tour. Alright, come on in. Some stuff right here that we know you like. Yeah, this is some, some super secret stuff that's going to be uh, upcoming really soon. Let me just show you a few guns we have. Yeah. I'll go around and look at some of them. So this that's a guy, really fancy box. It's probably not a high point. We could stick a high point in there. This is the HK MR762. It's like a spe special package. Probably the only one of these that we'll get. I have never even seen one of those in real life before. We just got in a 5.56 version also. Need to look at that. Come on, I'll show you around. If you're not subscribed to their channel, it'll be the first link down below. Go subscribe to their channel, check them out. They've always got some cool videos coming out. Some Springfields, Springfield Victors, and M1As. A few DPMSs left. Got some Kimber pistols. This is a Micro 9. I know somebody who carries a Micro 9. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. He's got the laser. I like that color, too. Mm -hmm. What kind of guns you want to see? I don't know. What do you got? Well, there's a shortage. We don't have very many of them. Some people like looking at cars. I like looking at guns. This is like the, the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The showroom? Well, not uh, really. Uh, the Mecca. Is that one? There you go. All right. There we go. Help that. And I see FX9 down there, too. I really like it. Yeah, we just got in a few of them. There's our, so we just got in that pallet yesterday. Those are the eight-inch black ones. The Keltec KSG. KSG, that's the 12 gauge, right? The 12 gauge. It has two, two tubes, so you can fill them both up. It ejects the shells out down here, so it's a bullpup. So. Like the barrel and the stock are just squished together. Mm -hmm. So it's real compact. This is gonna get so. I know you're a CMMG fan. I am a big CMMG fan. It's hard to say, but I got some of those right there. Gun Prime has CMMGs. Adam's arms. Let's see. Let's go look at some uh, some pistols. Jeremiah's over here listening to some guns. No, what are you listening to, Jeremiah? Ammo? Yes, I'm ammo right now. Just got in some ammo. Everybody needs a little ammo in their life. There's a new shipment of Kiltec. We have some RDBs and some KSGs in here. The Hellcat. Springfield Armory Hellcat. I've got another Springfield Armory I want to show you in the office over there. It's a neat compact pistol. Holds a lot of rounds for being such a small gun. It does. Big punch in a little package. Alright. This is the early model. Early production. It's got the Gen 2 trigger pack. Or the early or Gen 1 trigger pack. It was signed right here by Gunny himself. That's wild. If you're not familiar with the PS90, that, that fires the 5.7. The mag set up on top. Pretty cool if you've never seen them. And they rotate. Yeah. They go in there sideways and then it spins, spins it around right there. Red dots 
sight. It's the older model, these are the harder ones to find. And this little little gun. Little short case. Used by John Wayne. And I wish I would have brought all the paperwork. To remember which movies it were it was at all which movies he was in and all that kind of stuff. But And what is this one chambered in? Probably a forty four or forty four Winchester Centerfire. But the barrel's too short, it should be illegal. It should be an NFA item, but there's a letter from the ATF saying that you can have it, and since it was John Wayne's gun and used in a movie, you don't have to get the tax stamp and all the extra stuff for it. John Wayne lever gun. That's sweet. Every YouTuber has one of these. What's that? What's that? 500? Smith & Wesson 500. Kentucky Ballistics. He'd be going crazy right now. His pistol of choice. Man, I bet that thing, I've never shot this short of a barrel, but I bet it kicks like crazy. Nah, you could shoot it. Probably break my wrist. Nah. CJ pulled this one out for us. Staccato P. Chrome finish, hard chrome finish. Good little race gun. Is that a nine millimeter? It is a nine millimeter. With the mags. Twenty round. I have seen this ladder in some videos. Oh, I need to put you. I need to get you that <laughs> clip and let you put that clip in there. My I have starts. seen the sketchy ladder in videos. Starts climbing up and, and hurts a little bit. Here's some ammo. This is Ammo Alley. What is this? This is 40. Colt safe is right there behind you. Plenty of coats. I actually shoot a lot of PMC ammo because it tends to be the stuff I can find that works with it. And it's good, yeah. Here's one of the, um, the new pythons. Have you had one of these on your channel yet? No, I have not. This is the 6 inch. They make a 6 inch and a 4 inch stainless version right now. I like those grips. Yeah. Grab that one. Hold it if you want to, see how it fits. I have fired one of the older ones. Yeah. And that thing is sweet. We sold four of them this morning. So they've, yeah. they've been moving. All right, so this one is a special treat and I'm actually gonna call out the Adventure Cowboy, a good friend of mine. This, was used at Custer's last stand, right? Mm -hmm. The guy just told me off camera. This is a, a single action Colt. I feel like I, I told guy, I feel like I shouldn't even have my hands on this. This thing is so like ridiculous to have in your hands, but it still looks like it's in pretty good condition. Like I said, I'm afraid to even be touching it, but a single action that was used at Custer's last stand. So they matched the bullets that come out of this gun to the bullets that covered up the sight and the serial number's in the right range. So they say it was one that was actually used there. And I'm not seeing any markings. Do you know what it's in? 44 maybe? Maybe. I need to get my dad. He would know a lot more about it than I would. That's just ridiculous. The man. I appreciate guy letting me take a look at this. This is a piece of history that you don't get to see very often. It looks like you could probably just load it up and fire it. It's in that good a condition. And that video will be on our channel in a few <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Click the link in the description. 
That's a cool one. That's it. a real cool one. I see a big pile of Smith & Wesson Sport 2s. That's a super popular AR. It looks like we got a bunch of them in. This is our gun room. Keep a lot of the military rifles here. Old M1 Grand. M1. That's one easy to recognize. You gotta get Grand Thumb. Just let go of that with your thumbs there. No thank you. So you got some SKSs in the back. Oh, here's a 30 caliber carbine. That's good. Cool. Some different AKs, SKS. Oh, this is cool. Trench gun, wow. shotgun, old school. Got the big bayonet on the front, heat shield. See, this is a uh, Stevens. I've seen some online with that, I guess it's like a heat shield over there. With that right there? Yeah. yeah. This is a a neat gun. I've seen these sell for, I mean, not this exact model, but similar ones for several thousand dollars, five thousand to the right person. So, shotguns, Desert Tech. Desert Tech. Got the 556 version. I think it's called an MRS or something. This is 308. 308. FAL. Wow. The only place I've seen that is in some video games. Some pump action, smaller calibers. I think pump, most pump of Pump action 22, that's just cool. There's a Marlin, or Winchester. That's sweet. That's probably a Model 94. That that's that? right, 22 Magnum. 22 Mag Model 94, that's cool. This one's been demilled, so it doesn't work anymore. But it's pretty unique. IWI Glue Ace 762 by 39 pistol. Now that is sweet. That's something that I need to pick up. I've never seen one of these in person either, but man, you get these in often? Yeah. I've never seen one in person. This is pretty new. BNT 308. BNT. BNT. Yeah, yeah. Burger and Thomas. And that's in 308. This is in 308. This one. So this I is recognize a, it as a high point. This is a high point carbine. And uh, we sent one of our guys to uh, pick up some guns one day. He filled up the back of his pickup truck and didn't strap them down. This high point caught wind and flew out of the truck, going down the freeway. Got run over by a few cars and he turned around and picked it up. And this is, we felt bad sending it back to the factory, you know. It's one of those things, so we just kind of keep it, keep it around as a reminder to always strap your guns down, guns down when you, when you go pick them up. Yeah. Hey, thanks for dropping by. It's good to see you. Glad yeah. you could come down and visit. I appreciate you having me. I got a pile of stuff over here I just run my credit card on. So, nice. always a good time at Gun Prime. They got a whole bunch of stuff when you can't find it anywhere else, especially. Well, thanks for coming by. It's good to see you. I'm glad I got to run down here. Hey, right, guys.